part of what Core Concepts does is, is teach communication skills and the expectation for employees to share story and to be able to respond to story, not only with our coworkers, but also with the community. And um, it needs to be reinforced uh, and relearned sometimes, um, but we're all starting from that same place where the importance for our community and our culture is that sharing of story to be able to continue um, you know, that throughout every interaction. The healthcare system is really what changed it for him. And today, being in operations, it's amazing because I get to sit with all of the different clinics that talk about the story and the history of Alaska Native people and what they need and how do we make sure that we're providing that for our community and how are we bridging that. So who would like to address the issue of once a person has told their story, What's the appropriate way to respond to build trust? Because I love that part of your training. I was having a hard time not responding to Karen's um, story. And um, I think for us, it's just, it comes so naturally. And um, the way that you approach it in my, the way I feel is it's a gift that someone is sharing with you. It is a gift that they are sharing their story and why they present themselves who they are today and why um, they get up every day and they're motivated to do different things. And so it's a gift. I also have found it hard when she shared her story not to respond, right? Because it does so, it comes so naturally when, you know, you practice and you hear people's story. Um, I, I typically share um, when I respond to story, you know, how it is a gift and how we are blessed to hear it and how, you know, it touched me. Um, and I think everybody wants to be connected. And one of the ways that, that people connect is through story. So being able to hear people's story, find those connections and build on them, builds trust over time. 